My name is Yinka Davis. I'm your guide on this true to life new drama series dedicated to sustainable happy married lives. Our focus will cover the young married couple. the grandparents because believe it or not most of our grandparents today are still living their active lives hope and belief. What better way to kick off this series than take a look at our hopes? Is it the wide-eyed innocent girl who believed with the lavish wedding and being a dotting wife to the husband that will give her a lifelong marital bliss? Or is it the housewife, the romantic at heart, who believed that the husband bringing tea to her in bed will guarantee her a lifelong loyalty of her husband? Or maybe our grandmothers and grandfathers who have advanced in these our marital experiences the grandfathers will be less combative and sympathetic in the matters affecting the happiness of the family. Sorry. Sorry. Is, is your kind 
the kappa. Stop running away! My clock! My job! I can't go anywhere like this! <laughs> Don't worry, eh? We'll clean you up, eh? And I'll make sure I get you something else to wear. Sorry, let's go. I'll help you. Could that be? Banging the door so hard in the morning. You know very well that it can be nobody else but your drunken, disgraceful daughter. Our daughter, Bolaho. Our daughter. Oh God. Where well, would this nightmare end? What is this big deal about a failed marriage? Especially these days when failed marriages are the norm rather than the exception. That crap you are spewing just goes to confirm that men are nothing but chauvinistic pigs. Well, how? If the feelings of your daughter mean nothing to you, why not think about the millions we spent getting her married? Uh, okay, so we spent millions on the wedding and the marriage failed. Is that any reason for the girl to decide that Armageddon has come? And if indeed it end has come, is everyday drunken partying the solution? I agree that is the solution. But feelings do run deep. Uh, personally, Diola, I don't think you are helping the matter or the girl with this your disgusting attitude of justifying her ill behavior. And I should think that you're doing a good job pretending that her problem is not ours. Do you, Olatunde James Hazan, Hereby accept Abimbola Catherine Willoughby as your legally wedded wife? Yes, I do. Do you, Catherine Abimbola Willoughby, do hereby accept Olatunde James Hazan as your legally wedded husband? Yes, I do. With the power conferred upon me, I hereby pronounce the two of you husband and wife, in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.
see this brazina here I saw. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to see it. Ha! It was so long, uh -huh. so fluffy, uh -huh. so beautiful. I'm going to get it. How much is it? You can guess it. Uh, 140,000 naira. There about 220. Wow, that's how much in dollars now. Oh, well, talking of dollar this day, don't even go there. Hmm. Let's not forget. This wedding that you went to, it's on the media everywhere. Mm -hmm. You mean talk of the town wedding? Mm -hmm. oh, girlfriend, you need to be there to see what actually happened. It was actually talk of the town. My friend, he spent money. Although it was done in this their local white garment church, nonetheless, it was extravagant. It was fantastic. Seriously? Fabulous. If I'm not estimating, they couldn't have spent less than 20 to 30 million naira. 20 to 30 million naira? Yeah. Look at you. What are you talking about? Ah. These people gave out Ashwebi free for everybody Seriously? that came there. All the wedding have been saying you have to buy Ashwebi to be there. Exactly. But they gave it out free for us all. Is it the musicians that call, they call there, you talk about? Or the caterers? Or the dishes? Or the drinks? So, talking about 20 to 30 million, I'm sure I'm not making a mistake. I can just imagine what the souvenir will be there. If they can give out a show for free, souvenir will now be what? Hmm. You just can't imagine. When I'm actually struggling to raise a million naira for my sister's welfare. Hmm. Is it the limousine you will talk about? The limousine that drove the couple to the reception? Or the exotic cars that followed at his court? It was superb. In fact, it's actually talk of the town. The wedding was just too much just too much money was flowing like no man's business hmm. my dear there's money in this country you can say that again oh. but i'm actually not in support of this extravagant spending why if the money they have it to spend so what's just about that i don't think anybody that earns his money legitimately will spend so much money on a child's wedding my dear it's their money. These people we are talking about, mm -hmm. we can't really tell how they made their money. Probably it's legitimate way or illegitimately, I really can't tell. But it's their money and they have it to spend. And they are spending it on what they choose to. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I agree with you. Okay. But I am strongly against it. I am not in support of anybody that spends so much money on a child's wedding. Bad belly. What are you going to do about it? What do you want to do? What am I going to do about it? Yeah. Call it whatever you like. I'll take it straight to the so social media. And we could even create hashtag against extravagant spending in the media. So that people can have a general view of what is happening and how to curb it. Hmm. Well, you're right. You have a point in that. But you know what funny thing about it? Ironically, most of these extravagant wedding did actually don't last because the people we are talking about the couple they don't even know each other it's based on business both parents you know matching their kids together or because of business if i approach you tomorrow for contracts i'm your in law you just have to grant it you can't deny me that is all about it at the end of the day tomorrow newspaper headline crashes 20 million 30 million went down the drain. I totally agree with you on that. Because the children themselves actually don't know each other. Probably didn't even date for six months. At all. So the wedding is actually between two parents who want business deals between themselves. Now you talking?
Just promise me that it won't happen again. It won't. I promise you. Oh, God. My dad was very angry. But I defended you by assuming responsibility. Yes. I told him I was the one smoking the wheat and not you. And he believed you? He had no choice because I showed him the forged police report. He spoke with the DSP and the DSP confirmed my story to him. Yes. You are such... <sighs> See, I promise you that I will never, ever associate with those guys again. I promise you. That's a big relief to me, Odi. Oh. And you are no longer angry with me? I can never be angry with you. Because you are my hero. You are my love. My honey, this growing toming will become a human being and strengthen our bond. Yes, honey. Hmm. Anything bothering you again? See, to say the truth, I'm not comfortable with the way things are around here. I'm not comfortable at all. Your father paying the bills, the house we are living, money for my clothing and all that. To crown it all, I now work for your dad. You are my father's son because he doesn't have a son of his own. Your sister's husband enjoys more freedom. His wife depends on him. Are you comparing my sister's marriage with her own? Maybe I would be happier if something more tangible is attached to my name. Not that he's married to the rich man's daughter alone. I want something more tangible. Come off it today. There's rumors everywhere that your father does everything for us. No self-respecting man will want that. Maybe that's why I even take solace in drugs. Oni, you're my love. You're important to me. Don't look at that, Oni. your ice cream. What about you? You and your smoke and drink. <laughs> mm. Besides, if you were not trying to be mischievous deliberately, you would have mentioned and seen this bitter medicinal herbal drink on this tray. Mm, quite. Okay. So what are we doing this time? Is it 10 in and 2 out? What is 10 in 2 out? Uh, 10 calories of ice cream in <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, please stop. 
Mm. Why can't we have a quiet time together without me feeling the brunt of your caustic tongue? Oh. Uh -huh. So this is just a banter. Banter between a loving couple. Banter. Mm. Sounds more like nagging. Ah. <laughs> Don't say that I made a mistake staying with you today. Mm. Mm. Indeed. <laughs> Will, mm? please, if you must smoke, mm. will you please not lie down? Oh, why? You think I will choke? <laughs> eh? Let us just put it this way. Hmm? I am not ready for widowhood. And I do not think my children are prepared to be orphans. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm. Anything for some peace and quiet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Well, now for my age old question. Mm -hmm. When are we going to move out of this dump and move us into a more befitting neighborhood? <laughs> I will also give you my age old answer. Until the Queen of England decides to relocate from Buckingham Palace. Meaning? Ah, Nick, when I built this dump many years ago, this area was like uh, today's Magodo yes. or even VGC. Uh -huh. <laughs> but development has caught up with it. So, even the same kind of development caught up with Buckingham Palace. The, the Queen says she's moving out. If we move out from here now, where? Igoi. All right. So if developer catches up with Igoi, we move to where? To Lekki. And then we keep moving until, until when? We moved in here from the village. Mm -hmm. So what, what are we going to give our kids as the roots? Hmm? Have you heard that the Oba of Lagos is moving from Iga, Idugoro because it is no longer ideal for him? Have you heard? Uh, but we are no longer moving. That is not the same comparison. It is the same comparison. Hey, Tolu, my man. Hey, give me here. No, you no longer bear the name we have given you. I haven't said that, that but Williams is still my son. Eh? <laughs> but my musical career branding, I use Buccellini. Mm -hmm. I think I've said that. This is Buccellini. What does this Buccellini mean? And this is your December video release. Well, what is it about? <laughs> I have a new single out now, Kule Yeah, I've heard it. It is wonderful, wonderful masterpiece. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get a simple answer to a simple question from this side? Sorry, dear. So, uh, Tolu? Yes, ma'am. Explain. Tolu. I thought you said you don't bear Tolu anymore. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, it's just my musical career branding. Mm -hmm. That's what I use. Praise the Lord. Because I was beginning to think, if I sent you all the way abroad to be educated, and now you want to delete my name from, from because of... Uh, uh... It's not that. This guy here is still your son. Hey. Uh -huh. I think there's someone at the door. Tolu, go see who is at the door. Yeah. Okay. Not, 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 it ain't my birthday, but I'm living life every day like 25th of December, man. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hello. Okay. My 3D, uh -huh. my darling uh -huh. daughter. Yeah, go, go, go. Ah. 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 You look disturbed. What's wrong? Yes, dear. You're Dad. not looking so happy. Mm. Bimbo, your friend's daughter. Uh -huh. Mom, your niece. Yeah. My cousin was rushed to the hospital earlier today. Ah. Battered beyond recognition. What? what? Even in her pregnancy, we managed to save her life. Oh. But she lost the pregnancy. Oh. What really happened, sis? Her husband beat her up ah. under the influence of drugs. Ah. Drugs? What? In my presence, she convinced her father that she was the one taking drugs and not her uh, husband. Uh. She was doing that to protect him. Oh, God. 
Pimba confides in me how she was doing everything possible to save that marriage. I always thought that guy wasn't happy in that marriage. See? He always had this despondent look on his face. Couldn't really tell what his beef was. Proof that one should maintain mm. one's own social class. Stay in your class. But mom, love is not a respecter or social class or any other segregation. It's not fair to generalize it. Marriage between two people from the same class to fail. Despite all the money that Bola spent on that wedding. And I told him, you see, I told him. Look at him. So out of everything that you have heard here today, the only thing that has stuck it is the amount of money he spent on the wedding. What? What a chauvinistic oh, remark. Come on. A more worrisome aspect is the fact that Bimbo may never be able to get pregnant again. Ah. <laughs> I want to agree to a different one today. No, I want to let it go. But look at he has turned the table against you. <laughs> Yes, we all have our hopes, our beliefs, and our expectations. Yet, these are the realities that we face on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs>